in my head. I keep the law just like I said. I ain't no zombie walking dead. I chose life like Moses said. I got the law locked in my head. I keep the law just like I said. I ain't no zombie walking dead. I chose life like Moses said. I'm a man now, it's too no worth it, hands down I talk the talk, I walk the walk, I don't just stand around I make things happen cause I keep God first You think your job is some teach me about hard work I'm a Israelite, that's right, I bring the truth out Don't know but y'all's laws come out this Hebrews mouth No lie, I'ma die for the most high And prophesy you how it shines, then close by You can't want to repent your sins, you wanna know why The most high Lord, got the power to make your soul cry why you ran around town like you so That's fly? Right. A wolf of spirits going down, you better choose your side. Wake up, here's a life. My people follow this one commandment in the Bible. It would eliminate black on black crime. It would eliminate drug dealing. 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 I got the law locked in my head. I keep the law just like I said. I ain't no zombie walking dead. I chose life like Moses said. I got the law locked in my head. I keep the law just like I said. I ain't no zombie walking dead. So according to the Bible, when you brothers and sisters keep walking, you walking in your own imagination. All right, I see you over there, brother. You looking scared already? Wait. Do you believe in God, brother? Yes. You believe in God? Let's see. Let's see. Did any of that make any sense to you, brother? Are you going to stand here and let me ask you a few questions? Or are you going to keep walking? It's fine if you want to keep walking, but I want to save you. I want to truly save you. Not we white Jesus. I want to baptize you in this Bible, brother. Right. All right. Let me ask you this, brother. What's your nationality? Christianity. Christian, right? Yeah. What's your nationality? What nation oh. do you belong to? Where do your forefathers come from? You're Haitian, you're Jamaican, you're African American. Well, Jamaican Island. From the island? Where's your father from? Your father's from the island? Yeah. All right, all praise. So according to the Bible, you're from the tribe of Benjamin. All right? How did your forefathers get to the islands of Jamaica, or the West Indies? How did we get there? Boat. By boat, right? What type of boat? Cruise ship? No. What type of boat? Canoe boat. Huh? A small boat. A small boat? Yeah. We were free? No, no. Not, not all of us. Not all of us. How did some of us get there then? Um, broke away. We broke away? We broke away from the islands of, of Africa and, and took a boat all the way over here? Yeah. No. Give me Deuteronomy 28, 68. I'm going to show you this, brother. I'm going to show you how we got to that island and why it's important for you to know that. Give me Deuteronomy 28, 15 first. All right, because according to the Bible, you're from the nation of Israel. All right, and you are suffering. Our, soul, our forefathers and us today we are suffering from the curses that God put upon our nation. And now we carry the names that our oppressors have given to us. All right, read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. You see that? Our forefathers didn't hearken, and we're doing the same thing today. But we're trying to break the cycle. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments. Because we didn't do all of God's commandments, read. And his statutes, mm -hmm. which I command thee this day, mm -hmm. that all these curses, all these what? These curses, all these curses, read, shall come upon thee uh -huh. and overtake thee. Now, give me Deuteronomy 28. So we're going to read a curse that fell upon the nation of Israel. You tell me, did this happen to your forefathers? Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So he said he's going to bring us into Egypt again. Egypt is a Egypt is synonymous with the word bondage. It's not talking about physically Egypt. Alright, so he said he's gonna bring us into bondage again. Read. With ship. With what? With ship. Didn't you just say that, brother? You just said that, right? You said we were brought over there on a boat. And let's see what happened once we get off that boat. Read. By the way, well, oh, I spake unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. Thou shalt do what? Thou shalt see it no more again. When we got off those boats, brother, did we go back? Right. Because the scripture had to come to pass, right? Read. And there ye shall be sold. Ye shall be what? Sold uh -huh. unto your enemies. And we were going to be sold to our enemies. Did that happen? Read. For bond men and bond women. Uh -huh. And no man shall buy you. No man shall buy you, meaning redeem you. 
get you out of your situation. Because you, as you uh, are you an American citizen? You were born and raised here? Right, so you understand the plight of the so-called black man in America, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Are we still at the bottom of society? Yes. Yeah. Are we still living, uh, the majority of us, in the slums and ghettos across America? Do we still get the worst schooling, the worst medical care, right? Why is that? Nobody ever questions why we are the first nation that got here besides the so-called white man, and we are at the bottom of, of the society. How come the Chinese man, the African man, the Korean man, how can they come over here and half the time they can build communities, businesses, and schools for themselves, and we can't? Why is that? We don't think like that. We're so used to it. over here. All praise. We don't think like they do, right? But why is that? What happened to our mindset? What happened? Well, I think our mindset is not comfortable because they're, they're trying to get away from something to build We just feel comfortable here. All praise, brother. I'm going to show you why. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 48. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Mm -hmm. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies. Shall they what? Serve thine enemies. So the Bible says we're going to serve our enemies. Our enemies is anybody that's not on this sign right here. All right, read. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Uh -huh. In hunger. In hunger we were going to serve our enemies. Read. And in thirst. In thirst we're going to serve our enemies. Read. And in nakedness. In nakedness. Read. And want of all things. Uh -huh. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. This is it. This is what I wanted. Until he have destroyed thee. Until what? He have destroyed thee. Until he have destroyed thee, brother. Like you said, you said our minds ain't right. Right? That's what you said. Because we try to assimilate into this culture. But everybody else, they keep their culture. They keep what they do that's significant to them. They, they continue doing it. But what happened to our, our tradition in our culture? Why don't we do it? Because like, we don't really think for ourselves anymore. Huh? You don't think for ourselves anymore. Right. What, what do all our traditions and culture and heritage, who does it tie to? Who gave it to us? Ourselves. We gave it to ourselves? Yeah. During slavery, on Sunday, when Master would let us have that one day off. Oh, who white, taught us? The white people. The white people, right? Give me Jeremiah 17 or something. Jeremiah chapter 17, verses 4. And thou, okay. even thyself, shall discontinue okay. from thine heritage. All right, so the Bible says we would discontinue from our heritage. Hold on, I wait for you. I wait for you. Yeah, I'm gonna come on. All right, read that again from the top. Listen to the scripture. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage. What does it mean to discontinue something, brother? Start a little bit. Well. To discontinue. To end. To end, right? It says, even thou, even thyself shall discontinue. Meaning stop. Read. From thine heritage. From your heritage. So everything that we do today is not originally what we used to do. Because you just said it out your mouth. You said, well, we learned everything from our oppressors. The white man taught us Christmas. The white man taught us, taught us Thanksgiving. The white man taught us Fourth of July. He taught us these things. Read. That I gave thee, uh -huh. and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. Thine what? Thine enemies. Three. In the land which thou knowest not. So before we were brought to the islands of Jamaica, to the islands of Haiti, to, to uh, North America, America, did we ever know about this land? No, we didn't know about this part of the earth. Alright, so why is this of importance? Why is it important for you to know who you are? Give me uh, Matthew 15 and 24. <coughs> Because we're here to teach you today that, guess what? God sent His only begotten Son to save you. To give you remission of sin. Alright? And if you ain't with the nation of Israel, the Most High in Christ, they're not dealing with you. According to the Bible, thus saith the Lord. Give me Matthew 15 and 24. Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. But He answered and said, uh -huh. I am not sent. I am not what? I am not sent. Uh -huh. But until the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But unto who? The lost sheep of the house of Israel. So Christ was only sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So, where does the doctrine that God loves everybody come from? Where does that 
it come from, brother? You don't know, right? Why do we have a white Christ? Was Jesus Christ a white man? No. Can you prove it? Uh-huh. Let's get it. Hey, Let's get it. And it's every hands were white like wool. Were what? White like wool. So Christ had white woolly hair. Why doesn't he have white woolly hair? Well, the white man. Right. So that's not the image of Christ. Read. As white as snow. Uh -huh. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Uh -huh. And his feet like unto fine brass. His feet like unto what? Fine brass. Brother, what color is brass? Huh? Brown. It's a brownish color, right? Read. As if they burned in a furnace. As if they what? Burned in a furnace. What color is something brown going to turn if you burn it? Black. Black. So, why did they give us the image of a white Christ? That's what they wanted us to believe. Huh? That's what they wanted us to believe. That's what they wanted us to believe. Why though? Because they knew we had no original cultural ties. No, we had original cultural ties. When they gave us that image, that cut us off from our original culture. Give me Psalms 83 and 2. All right, I'm going to show you why they did that. I'm going to show you exactly why they did that, brother. All right. You make a sense, though. They wanted to cut us off from our culture. Because as long as Jesus Christ was a white man, could we be the nation of Israel? No, we didn't have no ancestral ties to him as long as he was a white man. They tried to cut us off. Did you know that's in the scripture? We're going to get it. Psalm 83 and 2. Psalm chapter 83, verse 2. Uh -huh. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult. They what? Make a tumult. So our enemies, like I told you, are all the other nations. Read. And they that hate thee. They that what? That hate thee. Because what you have to understand is the other nations hate you. The Chinese man, the white man, the Korean man, the African man, they hate you. Read. Have lifted up the head. Uh -huh. They have taken crafty counsel. They have did what? Taken crafty counsel. They have taken crafty counsel, brother. What's that crafty counsel? They put a white man as Jesus Christ. They move the Sabbath day to Sunday. Right. They make you celebrate Christmas. And they tell you a white man's coming down your chimney and giving you presents. That's the crafty council they take. They set up every every major event. They put it on Saturday so you can be in sin. All right? That's the crafty council. Read. Against thy people. Against who? Thy people. So everything that you see is set up against you. All right? It's not for the masses. It's not to, to uh, keep the white man at the bottom. No. It's set up for you. Read. And consulted against thy hidden ones. They consulted against who? Thy hidden ones. They consulted against thy hidden ones. We are the hidden ones. We are the only people on the face of the earth that don't know who we are. Don't know our history. Don't know our culture. Read. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. They have said what? Come, let us cut them off from being a nation. Brother, ain't that what you just said? They gave us a white Christ so we don't know who we are? So we don't have a culture? Read. Read it again. They have said, come. And let us cut them off from being a nation. Uh -huh. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. That the name of what? Israel may be no more in remembrance. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. So now when you look at yourself, when you look at another black man, you don't look at him as your brother. You look at him as your enemy. Because you have nothing that tie you together. You see what I'm saying? That's why they did that. All right, now, give me uh, first Maccabees 3 and 48. I'm going to further prove my point, though. All right, because that image is the beginning of us falling in, in, this, in America. All right? That image breeds black on black crime. First Maccabees, chapter 3, verse 48. And laid open the book of the law. They did what? Laid open the book of the law. So right now we're reading about our enemies. When they when they overtook us, they took the Bible. Read. Wherein the heathen have sought to paint the likeness. The what? Paint the likeness uh -huh. of their images. Paint the likeness of our images. Of their images. So if they had to paint the likeness of their images, what did he look like before? 
Right. You get that? If they had to paint the likeness of their images, that means it looked different before they gave us that. Because that came out during the Renaissance period, the rebirth of the so-called white man. So they had to re they had to paint over our image. Give me Job 9 and 24. Job 9 and 24. Because the so-called white man wants you at the bottom of society. He wants you to think that you're Jamaican, that you're Haitian, that you're black. So you don't come back to your true nationality and culture. Because when you do, and when we come together in righteousness, we are going to rule the earth. That's right. Read that. Job chapter 9, verse 24. Uh -huh. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. The who? The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So the earth right now is given unto the hand of the wicked. Who runs the earth today, brother? Who runs the banks? Who runs the movies? Who runs the school system? Your oppressors. Right. Read. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. He did what? He covered the faces of the judges thereof. He has covered the faces of the judges thereof. We are the true judges of the earth. That's right. But they have covered our faces. How? They tell us that we're black. They tell us that we're Haitian. They tell us that we're Jamaican. They tell us that we're Puerto Rican. That's how they cover the faces of the judges. Read. If not, where and who is he? If not, where and who is he? Who else did this to us? There's nobody else. All right? But now, let's get to the key points. Give me Deuteronomy 10 and 12. All right, Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Let's see, why is this of importance? Read. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. And now, Israel, what do the Lord thy God require of thee? What does the Lord thy God require of the nation of Israel? Sisters, sisters, y'all know your nationality? Okay. You know your nationality, sis? What's your nationality? Sis, what you say your nationality is? Black? Come here, sis. Come here. Come here, sis. Alright, you said you're from the you said your nationality is black, right? What nation? Step right there. What country does black tie you? Africa? Africa is a continent. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, where you from? I'm from the island. From the island? What island? Uh, the British Virgin Islands, right? How did your forefathers get there? Uh, right. So they got there through what? Slavery. Slavery, right? Did you know that's in the Bible? Give me Deuteronomy 2868. Bring it out. Alright. Your forefathers and my forefathers are the same people. Guess what? You got conquered by the British. The British Virgin Islands. Did you ever think about that? No. No. You were brought there on slave ships. But the beautiful thing about that is, guess what? That's documented in the Bible. All right, read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. All right, sis. The word Egypt means body. All right, so think about that when you hear the word Egypt again. Read it. By the way, well... And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt bondage. again with ships. With what? With ships. With what? With ships. How did you say you got to the British Virgin Islands? On, on ships, right? On ships. Why is that important? Why do you think that's important? Who is this scripture talking to? Do you know? Give me Deuteronomy 1 and 1. This scripture only applies to one nation on the face of the earth. All right? And that's why we are here teaching. Because guess what? The one group of people that's above and better than everybody else is also the one group of people that don't know who they are. Right. We call ourselves black. Black is the color in a crayon box. Black. What nation? How do you feel a sense of pride about yourself when you don't know who or where you come from? You see that? Read. Deuteronomy chapter 20, uh, Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1. Uh -huh. These be the words which Moses... Which who? Which Moses... You know about Moses did? What did Moses do? Right, he helped, he helped the slaves from what nation? Moses was an Israelite. He, he is your papa. We come from the same bloodline as Moses. Read it again. These be
be the words which Moses spake uh -huh. unto all Israel. Unto who? All Israel. Israel. So that scripture about what happened with the slave ship applied to the nation of Israel. Right? So, if that scripture applied to the nation of Israel, and it was talking to the nation of Israel, and we experienced that, right? Because that happened to us, right? What did that mean? Does that mean that we are the children of Israel, right? That's what that would mean, right? Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.